Come, tender-hearted, hungry ones. Rest and breathe. Receive that which satisfies the deep pain of separation and of loneliness. That which is passing away has played its part, sustaining you until you remembered, until you could see with the eyes of an angel, a child who trusts, who has not yet has had their heart broken. Let yourself out and let yourself in. Feel the ever-present blessing that you are and that you are given. Sometimes it's important to be in a place of remembering, a place of seeing, a place of understanding that life actually works. At this time of year, it's really easy to see that which is being given to us freely and abundantly, and yet it is given to us all the time, given to us in the design of the way the air is, the way the sun is, the way the earth is, and we are richly blessed. There is something of finding a honing back into the patterns of how things actually work so that the nourishment that one can receive and the blessing one can receive and give is just part of breathing. It's part of the way we are. It's part of the natural state of human beings being with each other, angels being together, instead of people who are self-centered being together. These words that I wrote, that I read to begin with, came to me because I am aware how risky it feels for people to feel safe and sure that the revelation of who they are and their angelic expression and how life works comes to a matter of trust, a matter of courage. And yet we have been doing things repeatedly that are painful and cause increased loneliness and separation. So I say it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk to let your expression be life-giving and angelic and see what happens and make the course corrections that allow you to be in places where there are trustworthy people. That's why I came to be part of Sunrise Ranch. I wanted to be surrounded with people who understood what I was taking on in my life. I wanted people to know that this was of utmost importance to me so that they would understand the trippings and the, the things I am learning while we're all learning, how to be different than the rest of the world is right now. This is a crucible, this place, a crucible of possibility, of allowing intensified, more speedy death of things that aren't working and fertilized, robust, passionate experiences of life. You provide the fertilizer, the seed, and the joy of allowing that to happen with a group of people. So I am aware that we have a season of harvest upon us where we can be reminded more visually, more um, in form of the provision. But let us use that time to know that that provision is always present and get up to speed through this season of remembering at a more consistent and attentive manner that we are to provide a blessing, we are being given a blessing, and something magnificent is on the edge of our experience. <laughs>